Here's a glitch that's a huge stepping stone to a whole host of glitches that we'll cover later on. And it's of course, song storage. The idea here is that you can store a song which has a unique effect that can be used later without fully realizing its effects. Let me explain. To set it up, you need to find a place where you can void out. We covered this Zora side up before and it's the perfect place to practice. Once here, perform an ocarina dive and quickly play a song just before you warp out. If timed properly, the text box to the song will get interrupted as you void. This allows the effects of the song to be used later on at will. Now, the songs you can actually store are the Song of Time, its inverted and double versions, and the Song of Soaring. Though, the Song of Time is arguably the most useful. To activate it once stored, simply open any text box. It can be an item in your inventory, or just talking to someone in the overworld. When active, notice that my rupees and item counts reset to zero, but I'm still playing. Uh, small note, opening the Song of Soaring in the menu completely crashes the game, so careful with this one.